Namaste, I am Acharya Pratishtha. I welcome you at Friday Facts with Acharya Pratishtha. Last Friday, we shared a video with you uh, where uh, we discussed about the morning mantra, relevance of that morning mantra, how to chant it, meaning of that mantra, and psychological effect of that mantra, and how that mantra has immense potential to heal your physical and mental ailments. And what is the science behind this healing? So if you have not seen that episode, Check the link at the description box and you must watch that episode. Now, at the end of that episode, I just said one thing that if you want to know what has to be done after this morning month, do write to us and we will try to come up with an episode on that. And we are really, really glad to receive such a um, you know, grand response. So many messages, Acharya Ji, what has to be done after this month? What has to be done after this month? How to begin your day? What is the traditional way of beginning our day? So we are going to talk about that today. Sometimes, you know, uh, there are many people who are waking up whole night and sleeping at the Brahmohurt. Now, what is Brahmohurt? What is the relevance of waking up at Brahmohurt? Why one should wake up at Brahmohurt? What is the science behind this time? How it affects your hormones? Entire episode on this had been shared a few Fridays back. I will be sharing the link in the description box. So just look at that episode. Today we are not talking about Brahmohut. We are just talking about waking up. So whatever time you wake up, make sure that you follow this specific routine. First thing, as I told you in the last episode, this morning mantra has to be chanted. Now second thing, after chanting this morning mantra, just sit quietly, calmly, without any judgment, without any thought and just observe whatever is happening inside and around you. 10 minutes of absolute silence through body, mind, thoughts, which is very, very important. Nothing, just do nothing. And even if thoughts are coming, let them come, let them go. This practice we need to learn. So make sure you do it 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, third thing, Take a deep breath in, exhale, smile and have gratitude for your breath, have gratitude for your heartbeat, have gratitude for this body, have gratitude for this mind, this brain, these thoughts, these emotions, have gratitude for this bed where you slept, have gratitude for this house where you slept last night, have gratitude for your family. Say thank you for the food I'll be receiving. Thank you for the water I will be receiving. Thank you for the oxygen. Thank you for each and everything, Paramatma. Make sure you take at least five minutes to thank Paramatma for everything you have got. And then tell yourself, this is going to be a great day. This is going to be a wonderful day. And follow the self-talk therapy of Bharat Yoga. If you don't know how to follow self-talk therapy, I will be sharing the link in the description box of self-talk therapy as well. Learn it and do it for five minutes. So first 10 minutes, absolute silence. Next five minutes, self-talk therapy. Then touch earth and have gratitude and say thank you earth for, for having me today. Now this feeling of gratitude can change your life. After that, drink two glasses of warm water. Drink these glasses of water, twist a little and then go for stool discharge. Three things we have to do. Stool discharge, cleaning your teeth and taking shower. Now, these three are very, very important. Sometimes we feel that first we should do exercise or physical activity. Then we should take shower. No, better you take shower first. Why we should take shower first? I've already shared an episode on that as well. I will be sharing the link at the description box. Do that. Then you practice your yoga abhyas and make sure you spend 20 minutes in mother nature. It is always better that outdoors you practice yoga abhyas so both of the time you are saving a time you are saving that one portion of your time and both works can be done together then offer your prayers whatever way you do it you do yagya you light a deepak you offer prayers by singing or any other way you offer prayers and then have a sumptuous healthy breakfast so this shall be and then you are ready for the day this shall be your morning routine and um, if you want to know, specific routine is of utmost importance in Indian culture. If you want to know why and what is the science of following a routine and what routine we should follow every day as per Indian culture, as per Sanatan Sanskriti, make sure you write it at the description box and I will try to come up with a fresh episode on this next Friday. Till then, you stay happy, healthy, lots of love, light and blessings to all of you. Hari Om.